guys and welcome to my channel this is Bren at Lake Life Adventure so today we have some armored catfish slash hassa slash cascado so this is a Florida fish this was caught in Florida so this is seasoned here with bandanier thyme garlic it has um, hot peppers onions and you see it's well seasoned it's all stuffed in there this is what it look like season you see make sure you get a season inside inside the inside the belly and this is the florida cascado has a whatever name you call it this is caught in florida it's known as an invasive species in Florida. It's not a native fish here, but it's a delicacy in the Caribbean and the islands. You know, it's a sweet fish. It may look scary, but it's <laughs> it's a sweet fish. It's very expensive in New York. And you know, the, the best way to do is you take lime, you scrub this fish, you scrub out hair scrub 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 that's how you get the rank out the fish you scrub all here you squeeze the lime in the belly you soaked it for like 15 minutes in the lemon or lime or whatever you know you could find washed it it's still gonna have that smell you take some salt washed it put a little vinegar washed it again I use flour, wash it, salt, lemon, lime, everything, and just keep washing this so you get it nice and clean. So I think this one have an egg. Uh, one of these have an egg. Somewhere in here they have eggs because I think this is the time they're laying. So it's this is what it looks like. So you see I well seasoned it up, marinated here. Um, see they're here. I don't like touching too much, but I'm just touching to show you guys. You know, I don't touch, touch my food too much. And I got on my gloves. <laughs> so you can make this, this is better in curry. And so you could use the Carla brand curry masala that's the one i'm going to be using then i put some mewa gram masala the color brand is from trinda the mewa is from canada but this guyanese doesn't matter it's delicious we have the chief curry powder and i'm putting some coconut milk some grace coconut milk in there and where's my duck and goat oh oh here it is this is my madras curry then I'm going to put some duck and goat curry and season it up. I'm going to season up my garam masala in here. I'm going to mix my caliban and my curry powder and the duck and goat curry in one. The coconut milk, then I'm going to put a piece of green mango in there. If you don't have green mango, you could put like saijan in there and make it into a curry. So that's a delicacy, like I say, for people from the Caribbean. A lot of them like it. And here you have it. It's cascado. I haven't had this in a while. So I had a customer of mine. He caught quite a few. And he was like, you want some? I'm like, sure, I'll try it. So he dropped it by the shop. Picked it up. And there we have it. So we have our armored catfish slash hassle cascado. This is what it looked like. Let's see. Look the head. There we have it. So you well season it up. Season your meat, marinate it, season it up. And it's delicious. This is the head. So you see how you cut it open like this so you can get all that seasoning in there. And that's what it looked like. 
So there you have the armored catfish. Slash hasa. So there you have it. Okay, and these are the masalas you could use. Everybody have their own choice, but these are the curry powders I use. And you put some tomatoes, pimento pepper, a little coconut milk in there, a little okra, you know, make it nice. Okay, so there you have the armored catfish.